everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is a really simple one. In fact, we're only using uh, just three colors on this project. I, I love doing these because sometimes it's easy to overwork these little paintings with too much color. And you know, you kind of feel like sometimes you want to get every color of the rainbow in there. And really, uh, some of these simple ones are the best. So this is a really fun one to do. And like I said, it only takes three colors. So I'm gonna show you how to put these little hanging baskets up. Uh, we're gonna need a few things. So in the small container set, we're gonna use this one right here. Um, we're also going to use this one from the chair set. Now, if you don't have this, uh, you can use any of these. So you can use any of these little pots and put them in any combination that you want. Remember these videos are just to give you ideas and to inspire you to try new things. So um, for sure you can use any of these. I'm using this one, I like this little bigger one, but you are welcome to use any ones that you want. Uh, we're also going to use this dry branch. This is from the clay pot. We're gonna use one of these little birds. Uh, this one right here, this one right here. In the foliage set, so this is the new foliage set, we're gonna use both of these ivies. In the original foliage set, we're gonna use the vine. And then in the flower set, the little filler flower right here. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start out by inking the branch. So that would be this one right here, and we're gonna use two colors on it. So I'm gonna start out with the sepia, and I'm just gonna ink the whole thing with sepia. That would be the number 45 and the number 72. So this is pine green. We're gonna do two colors on here. And we're just gonna stamp it across the paper uh, just a couple of times. So just once, twice, uh, maybe one more time, just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just kind of extending this branch over. Remember, it's just the idea of things. And then we're going to, uh, before we add water to it, uh, we're going to add the vine. So the vine, is this one right here, and we're just gonna use the tip of it. So right here where it begins to form a C, we're just gonna use this little section here on up. So I'm just gonna ink this now with the, uh, with that same green, so this is the pine green. And I'm just gonna turn my paper a little bit so that I can get a better, um, get a better impression here. And just, you're just kind of, um, you're stamping this in here a few times uh, we still want that light to dark impression. So we wanna get this in here a few times. You don't have to get all of these, these branches. You don't have to get foliage on every one. Uh, just like that, that's probably good enough. So now we're gonna add water to that. So we're gonna dip our brush in water and we're gonna pinch it off. And we're just gonna dab. We're kind of blending this color from the branch also into the foliage. It's kind of a mossy green, it's a little darker, and I want it to look a little different than the leaves. But experiment with this. It's really fun to try new things. Don't be afraid to do that. So we're just kind of dabbing. Remember your hand is flat on the table like you're writing your name. And you're just kind of jumping your brush around just like this. All right, we've got that done. So now it's time to put our little pots in. So I, I'm gonna use a positioner because I wanna make sure I get these in the right place. So I'm going to start with the smaller one, this one right here. And I'll, I wanna show that these pots really are mostly white. So I'm going to use the number 86, African Violet. And I'm going to place my little shield right into the corner stamp this right into the corner like that. And now I can see exactly where I want that to be. And hang it down a little farther so that you can get uh, your foliage in there and get your little, um, your little wires that attach it to the tree. So this looks pretty good. I don't need to re-ink this again. I can just huff on it and stamp it again, just like this. Okay, so now we can place our second one. And that one's gonna hang down a little bit farther, just like this. We're gonna kind of place it behind. So I'm gonna take this little corner off. So remember, this is the opposite. So on here, it will be this corner right here. So I'm just gonna place it right here, just like this. Place my little um, shield back in here. And I'm gonna take this corner off. And I, I don't even need to re-ink it again. I can just hop on it again. 
And there we go, I've got that just tucked in right behind there. So I'm gonna do one more, and that would be the wider one. So this is the little bigger pot. I'm gonna ink it again with the same marker, so the number 86. And I'll just use this corner this time. Stamp that right in the corner like this. And maybe put this one uh, right about here. We want to get these down far enough so that we can get our foliage in there. So maybe I'll place it right about here. That looks pretty good. I love this little positioner. You know, when it comes to placing things, you just want, don't want to guess. And the thing about watercolor stamps is that they will always be rubber. So clear stamps do not work for this technique. You have to be able to stamp them multiple times and you need the rubber in order to do that. The clear does not hold the ink, so they will never be clear. And so it is hard sometimes to see through to, and know exactly where to position these. So the little positioner really comes in handy. So I'm going to hop on that and just stamp it right in here like that. So I've got my little containers in. Now I'm going to do the next step, and that would be to add the Molotov. So we're going to we're going to use this one on this this little project, and you can see the little white areas in here. So we're going to put those little white flowers in, and you can do you know there's so many options with with these types of things. Uh, try lots of different things. I love using this little Molotov uh, because I love the look of the little white flowers, and I'm just kind of putting little dots in everywhere. Maybe some down here, down to the, through the center. You can make them bigger, so you can go over it again. Make sure you have enough of this fluid on here so that it, it doesn't show through. So you wanna make sure you get this thick enough on here and get enough in. And just tap in as many as you want. And we're good to go there. So I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and my masking fluid is dry. So I know I'm, I'm free to stamp over the top of this and it's going to protect all my little white areas. So the next step is going to be to pull the color out of the lines of these little pots. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna drag it out from the darkest area, which would be the sides because these are little rounded pots. And we're just gonna pull this to the center. Just like this, don't stress out about this. So fun. And we're doing this after so that we can really see those white areas. So we don't wanna add that masking fluid to any color. We wanna make sure that it's on the white paper. So we're doing this second instead of next. So let's just keep dragging this over. This uh, marker has a lot of pigment in it, so if you need to clean your brush off, do that and then come back to it. Make sure that you don't get it too dark on here. And we can do something a little decorative too. We can take some of this color and just make a little decorative line here in the background. Easy to do. All right, let's go on to the next step, and that would be to add our flowers in here. So we're gonna say, start with that same color. So this is the African Violet that we've used before. And we're gonna color the back of the little uh, daisies. So this is the little daisy bunch from the flower set, original flower set. And we're going to ink this up, and we're gonna stamp it in a circle. So one, two, three, four, five. And again, over here, one, two, three, four, five. And just get this in here a bunch of times. You can actually do it more than five, but at least five. We wanna make sure we get at least that much in here. Dip your brush off now and, and pinch it off. So dip it in water and just touch all these little areas. Make sure to leave some white spaces in here. And you can see how this really, really saturates the color. So clean your brush off a couple of times just to make sure you don't get too much pigment in here. That looks good. So let's move on to the next step, and that would be to add our foliage in here now. So we're gonna use the, the two ivy vines. So that would be these two. So we've got a left and a right. So we can start with either one. This is the right side. And we're gonna just stamp this over all of these little white areas that we've protected. 
So I make sure we get all of this really green. Uh, we can put some of it back in here, in this little one. And just make sure all those areas are really covered. Let's go on to the other side. This would be the right side. And I'm just gonna turn my paper a little bit so that I can get a good uh, grip on this. And we've got some coming down the middle, so we wanna show that too. And then let's just make sure we get some back in here. All right. So now we just add our water to it. This is so simple to do. I love these little simple projects. And honestly, sometimes you only have five minutes to get something done. Uh, that seems to be me a lot. So I am such a big fan of this technique because I can, I can just get everything out in five minutes. Uh, I can stamp a simple little project like this one so quickly and nobody would ever guess it's stamped. And they'd for sure never guess that it only took you a few minutes. I love it. And I also like these simple, the simple colors. Like I said, this is only three colors. So you don't need a ton of markers either. Love that about it too. Let's just darken this little line here. I can steal some of this pigment from, from this little flower and come back in here. Don't overdo these. Don't stress out about it. Just get it in here. All right, so let's make sure that that's dry and let's go on to the little bird up in the branches here. So we're gonna ink him and we're gonna use the sepia. And I'm also going to use um, the positioner again. Uh, you know, another thing about the positioner that it does keep you from stamping these things too dark. So uh, when you stamp it on here, it's sort of like you're stamping it off. And then when you stamp it into your image like this, it's way lighter, and especially with these little birds, you don't want them too dark. So we're gonna blow on that, huff on it, and just stamp it back up in here. Perfect. And now we're going to pull the color out of those lines. With your brush, just carefully do that. Doesn't take much at all. Doesn't take much. Make sure that the little eyes and the beak are really dark. Sometimes they get lost because we're stamping on that textured paper. So make sure that you really get that on here dark. And let's add a little color to it. So from our palette, we're gonna use that number 86. We've used the whole time. And just dip your brush and take a tiny little bit of this color and just brush it on. Just really, really carefully and really simple. Don't overwork these. And that is about all we need to do with those. Let's add our, our little wires in here that are hanging our baskets. And so to do that, we're gonna use the fine tip now of the number 86. This is the same marker that we've used before and find the center of each of these pots. So here's the center right here of this one. Just pull it straight up and we can attach this one right here. This one here, find the center, pull it straight up and let's attach that one here. This one, we'll find the center and let's attach that one right there. So the first thing we're gonna do is just use a straight edge. So you can use a ruler or you can use your positioner and we're just gonna draw a line straight down into the basket. So just like this, let's go down here to this one. So just draw a straight line. You can go behind the foliage if you want to. Gets kind of gives it a little more dimension to do that. Kind of hide it behind there. And then let's do the other. So now we're gonna make two more on each side. So we're gonna start at that same, same point and we're just gonna pull it down to the side. So you're kind of lining it up with the edge of the little pot here. It doesn't have to be exact. Remember, you're just showing the idea that these little baskets are hanging by the wires. So fun, just really fun. Same with this one. And we'll just add one more here like that. Super, super easy. 
All right, so let's rub off, um, now let's rub off our masking fluid and we can see where all the little white areas are in here. Kind of like the big reveal. Make Just make sure everything's really dry uh, before you take this off so that you don't smear anything. And you can see all your little white spaces so cute. You can add uh, more white to it if you want to using a gel pen. This is the Uniball, so the Signo Uniball. And you can add a little more white. I know you probably can't see it very well on the video, but it's really fun to do that too. Add a little more white in here. Or you can add color to these spots too. You've protected this area, and now you can add a little color in here too if you want to. But I like it just simple. I love the two color, three color. And I'm going to sign a date and be finished with this one. So try it, put it on a card or put it on, in a frame and give it away to someone. You are really gonna make their day. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all next week.